You know, it's ironic that we will be 33 issues in since the Mecca Sally Arc began in issue 230. Well, at least at the end of issue 230. And it's hard to believe that when you look at issue 247, and then you take a look at issue 252, it's hard to believe that it was 17 to 18 issues of story that we dealt with. And that from a time standpoint, it was one year and about five and a half to one year and six months. So yeah, basically four months away from a two-year arc. And now we're in a different arc where you have Sonic... Sally, Bunny, Antoine, Rotor, Nicole, and Tails flying around in the new home base, the Sky Patrol, chasing after Dr. Eggman and the Death Egg, and now trying to collect the Chaos Emeralds to help put the world back together. Now, that might sound great and all, but you add in the fact that we're also, that we're also seeing the adaption, or loosely based adaption, of the Sonic Unleashed video game in the comics. Now, the way I look at this adaption is I believe the Unleashed adaption or at least the unleashed portion of this story arc will not will not be that long. I believe it will run for a few issues and it will help maybe from a storyline perspective and character perspective make Eggman realize what he has done and what his rival his enemy Sonic is now capable of and that the only way Sonic can be cured completely of this werehog condition is to help restore the earth or at least restore the planet back to its original state. Now I've stuck by the fact that I believe this current story arc with its sub arc sub with its sub arcs I should say <laughs> with its sub arcs and um, connecting stories in Sonic Universe I believe this entire story arc will come to an end in either issue 275 which is basically a year away or in issue 300, which is about two years away. And I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking you can't wait that long for the story arc to end if it's going to end in issue 300. And hey, I'm with you. You know, I'm with you on that. I, I, be I believe this arc needs to end soon so they could focus on other stories not just for Sonic, not just for Tails, but for the other characters. They need to focus on these stories. And whether they like it or not, they have to look at the timetable and ask themselves if fans will still be interested in this story arc for another two years. Or will they be interested enough to go for one more year, for 12 more months basically. And I believe we will be. Now, the question being is, how is it going to come to an end? Well, this is just me. But I believe, of course, you're going to have Sonic go super. But since you're portraying 
you're por portraying the freedom fighters as game versions of themselves, I would not put it past Ian Flynn to allow the freedom fighters along with Sonic to go super as well. Because that would play into the whole aspect of now this is a more Sega-fied uh, universe in the comics. It would play more into that. But hey, that's just my opinion. And of course, I believe we're going to have a confrontation between, between Sonic and Eggman while well, Sonic is in Werehog form. And I truly believe Eggman's going to finally admit, hey, you pushed me to this limit. You gave me no choice but try to rewrite the world because you wouldn't let me conquer it. You wouldn't let me have one major piece of the world to call my own or something like that. Another thing I truly believe is I think Ian Flynn is using this story arc to set up for an even bigger story arc with a new villain. And this new villain is a version of Eggman that fans have been dying to see ever since he debuted in Sonic Rush. That's right. I'm talking about Eggman Nega. And if you can get Eggman Nega in there as the next primary villain for at least maybe a year, that'll be a more refreshing take. Because apparently, according to fans, that version of Eggman is more vicious, more sadistic, and is more capable of winning a battle without, without exhorting to extreme, to extreme measures. That's right, without exhorting to extreme measures, like trying to rewrite the world. So, that's what I believe as a longtime fan that... Ian Flynn wants to take the direction of the comic in after this current story arc wraps up. Now, I could be wrong on that. I mean, you know, Ian Flynn may end up going in a different direction, but I, I just get this feeling that's where he's going. I mean, how long did it take before Cream finally came on board? Took long enough, right? How long did it take before... Let, let's see, um, trying to think. Well, how long was it before we got an official adaption of one of the more recent video games of Sonic, like Unleashed? Took a while, right? What about Emiral, the robot from Sonic Battle? Took a while for him to get in. The point is, the point is, people have been waiting for this for a while, for quite a while. So I truly feel that that's what Ian Flynn's next step's going to be. And again, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. I just feel that that's the direction he's going to go in very, very soon. So, you know, that that's all I have to say on it. I mean, I mean, my point is this. In closing, my point is this. I believe the current story arc will end in issue, in either issue 275 or or 300, I believe you can have all the characters go super, because this, this is basically a big arc for them, a big adventure, and they have to restore the world to normal. I believe Eggman's going to take, take a break for a year, and we're going to have Eggman Nega inserted in his place. And, you know, that's probably going to be about it. And I believe the Nega... Eggman Nega will be around for a year, just like the Iron Queen in the Iron Dominion arc was for, was around for a year. I believe that's exactly what Nega is going to be for for the time being after this story arc's over. And again, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I, I truly don't think I am. I just get this feeling as a longtime fan, and believe me, I've been a fan since the comic book first came out. I've collected issues since the very first, since the very first six to ten issues. I've collected them, um, or at least tried to collect them since issue 40, 47, or actually, actually, or actually, I should point this out, twenty nine. 
since about issue 29 I tried to do it on a regular basis and since issue 72 I've been subscribing since then so this is coming from someone that as a regular subscriber going on basically soon to be 200 issues as a, as a subscriber basically at 191 now or soon to be at 191 issues as a subscriber I believe that's the direction Ian Flynn's going to go. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I don't think I will be wrong. So uh, that's all I'm going to say on it. Hopefully this came out uh, readable with Dragon Natural Speaker. If not, I will correct some of the mistakes. And hopefully this came out good for you guys here on YouTube. And that's all I'm going to say. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. God bless and I'll talk to you later.